we are done with the conversion of decimal to any radix. So next we will see conversion of any radix to decimal. So any radix to decimal in a sense, if the given is binary or if given is octal or hexadecimal, how to convert it into decimal. So we know how to represent the decimal numbers. Decimal numbers, we can represent it by using the units place, tens, hundreds, thousands and so on. Means the power comes as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So now first we'll see how to convert the given binary to decimal. So this is an example for that. So given if it is binary, how to convert to the decimal numbers. So here there is an integer part as well as fractional part. Uh, we, have to, we have to find what is a decimal number. So output expected output is decimal number. So in integer part, this is a units place and this is tens place hundreds place and this is thousands place means the power comes here is 0 and here it is 1, 2 and then 3 and here binary is given so we are using 2 to the power means the radix to the power 0, 1 etc. So now here this is units place so 1 into 2 to the power 0 and next is 0, 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1, 1 into 2 to the power 2 plus 1, 1 into 2 to the power 3 and fractional part plus so fractional part power comes in minus so 1 into 2 to the power minus 1 plus 0 into 2 to the power minus 2 plus 1 into 2 to the power minus 3. So when we calculate this we will get the decimal answer which is 13.625 base to the power 10. So this is binary to decimal. The same method is followed for octal to decimal as well as hexa to decimal. The difference is instead of binary means instead of 2 radix is 2 there we are using 8 and 16. So this is a second conversion octal to decimal given as octal or to convert it into decimal. So here there is an integer part as well as fractional part and integer part 5632 there is a units tens hundreds and thousands thousand in a sense three zeros. So 5 into the radix here is 8 means octal is given so 8 8 to the power 3 plus 6 into 8 to the power 2 plus 3 into 8 to the power 1 plus 2 into 8 to the power 0 anything to the power 0 is 1 now so you have to careful in that anything to the power 0 is 1 so 1 into 2 is 2 so next 4 into 8 to the power minus 1 plus 7 into 8 to the power minus 2 plus 1 into 8 to the power minus 3 so when you calculate in calculator you will get 2970.611328 base 10 writing base is important and next is hexadecimal to decimal the given if it is hexadecimal how to convert it to decimal so the radix they can give as 16 or they can give us h both are same so if hexa is given how to convert it into decimal here we should know the number for the corresponding characters corresponding alphabets so hexadecimal numbers are 0 to 9 and for 10 it is a 11 b 12 in c 13 d 14 e and 15 is f so 3 f d is integer part here and 8 4 is a fractional part so 3 f d 0.84 so this is units tens hundreds means power is 2 for 3 so 3 into 16 to the power 2 plus f into 16 to the power 1 plus d into 16 to the power 0 plus 8 into 16 to the power minus 1 plus 4 into 16 to the power minus 2 so what is the corresponding number for uh, alphabet f which is 15 and for d it is 13 so we are writing it in the normal format and when you calculate you will get 1021.515625 base 10 so this is how to convert any radix to decimal. So expected output is decimal. We represent decimal in terms of units, tens, hundreds, thousands and so on. Just we have to change the power. If binary is given, then 2 to the power. If octal is given, then 8 to the power. If it is hexa, then 16 to the power, 0 something. So we will get the decimal answer. So this is about the second category conversion. So now... Before moving to the next means last category which is conversion between radix we should know how to write the binary numbers for the decimal or octal or hexa. So this is a decimal and binary and octal and hexadecimal numbers. So now we will see how to write 2 bit, 3 bit and 4 bit binary. So 2 bit binary if it is 0 then we can write it as 0 0 1 means 0 1 2 means 1 0 and 3 means 1 1. And to write 3-bit, we are using the code 
4 to 1 co. So, octal numbers are from 0 to 7. So, 0 to 7 octal, octal in a sense 8, 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3. Means, we can use 3-bit binary for those octal numbers. So, 4 to 1 is a co. So, corresponding binary number comes like this, 0, 0, 0. And next, by using 4 to 1, to write 1, it will be 0, 0, 1. And 2, 0, 1, 0. 3 means 2 plus 1 is 3. So, 0, 1, 1. Like that, we are writing 3-bit binary for 0 to 7. And if it is 4-bit, then we can write it for 0 to 15, means hexa number. So, for, to write 4-bit, we can use 8, 4, 2, 1 code. So, for 0, it is all 0. 1 means the last position will be, LSB bit will be 1, rest all will be 0. And by using 8, 4, 2, 1 code, we can write the 4-bit binary numbers for the hexa or 0 to 15. So, now we will move to the conversion between radix. In conversion between radix, we are not considering decimal since we are done with the decimal. If decimal is given, how to convert it to other and if other radix is given, how to convert it into decimal. It's done already. So, here we are not considering the decimal number. So, the conversions are binary to octal, octal to binary, binary to hexa, hexa to binary, octal to hexa and hexa to octal. So, we will see one by one. So, all those things having some algorithm. So, binary to octal. If binary is given, if given is binary, how to find a octal? So, what is the relation between binary and octal? What is the radix of binary? Binary ka radix is 2 and octal is 8. So, how to relate it? 2 equal to, we can write the octal 8 as 2 to the power 3. Means power represents the number of bits. So, here there is an algorithm. If binary is given, how to convert it into octal? Binary in a sense radix is 2, octal in a sense 8. 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3, means we are using 3 bit. So now, if binary is given, first we have to make a group of 3 bits starting from LSB for integer part and MSB for fractional part. So here in this given question, this is integer part and this is fractional part. So in integer part, this is LSB and in fractional part this is MSB. So what is the first step? Make a group of three bits starting from LSB for integer part and MSB for the fractional part by adding zeros if required. So if this is a given binary then group of three bits starting from LSB for integer part. So, this is the first group of three bits and next group is 101 and the last group to make a group we need three bits but here there is only two. So, we have to add a zero here to make or to complete for a group. So, this is making of groups means making of three bits starting from LSB for integer part. And next M SB for fractional part. So, here we are starting in this direction. So, first group is 0, 1, 1 and the last group which is having a single bit. So, adding two zeros here. We have to add two zeros to make a group. So, we will get 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. So, this is about the first step. Make a group of 3 bits starting from LSB for integer part and MSB for fractional part by adding zeros if required. And the last step is writing equivalent octal number for each group of 3 bits. So, for writing binary, we are means for 3 bit, we are using 4 to 1 code. 4 to 1 code. So, here the octal, equivalent octal number comes as this is 2 and 5 and 5. 0.34. So, 255.34 base 8 is the answer. So, we have to follow the algorithm binary to octal. Binary means 2, octal is 8. If you equal it, it will be 2 equal to 2 to the power 3. The power represents the number of bits which we are using in the grouping. Next, vice versa, octal to binary. If octal is given, how to write the binaries? So, what is the first step? Write equivalent 3-bit binary number for each octal digit. 
we know the relation between octal and binary, which is to the power 3. So, write equivalent 3 bit binary for each octal digit. So, here octal will be given. You have to write 3 bit binary for each octal. The next step is optional. We can remove any leading or trailing zeros. So, we'll see the example. So, convert 1 to 5.62 base 8 to binary. So, 1 to 5.62, all are octal numbers. And base also given as 8. So, given is octal, you have to find the binary. So, 1 to 5.62. So, now, binary for 1 is, 3 bit binary for the 1 is 0, 0, 001, and for 2 it is 0, 1, 0, and for 5 it is 1, 0, 1. Decimal point for 6 is 1, 1, 0, and for 2 it is 0, 1, 0 by using 4, 2, 1 code. And next, second step, removing the leading zeros. This is a leading and this is a trailing zeros or we can consider the first step cancer as a final answer. So 125.62 base 8. So converting octal to binary as 10101101.11001 base 2. So this is conversion of binary to octal and octal to binary. The next is binary to hexadecimal. It's same like binary to octal. So here how to relate binary and hexa? Binary means radix is 2, hexa means radix is 16. So, 2 to the power 4 is nothing but 16. So, the number of bits we are using here is 4 bits. If there is a conversion between binary to hexa or hexa to binary, we have to remember the number of bits to be used is 4. So, steps are same like the previous octal. If binary is given, first step is we have to make a group of 4 bits. Algorithm is same which is starting from LSB for integer part and MSB for fractional part by adding zeros if required. In second step, write equivalent hexadecimal number for each group of four bits. So solution, if this is a given binary, it is grouped. So how to group it first? First one is, first four bit is this. For grouping, we are choosing this direction. But when writing the binary, we are using the opposite directions. Okay, so this is a first group and this is the second group and to make the third group there is a need of two zeros and uh, in the fractional part this is a first group and this is a second group here there is only three bits so we have to add one zero here. So it comes like this 0011 0110 and corresponding hexadecimal numbers are 3, 6, E and decimal point is a 0.98 to the base 16. This is binary to hexadecimal conversion. And next is hexa to binary. If given is hexa, how to find the binary? So same here we are using 4 bit. So if hexa is given, we have to write 4 bit binary for each hexa digit. 8A9 B4 all are hexa digits. So we are writing 4 bit binary number for 8 means for 4 bit we are using 8421 code. So 1000, 1000, 1001, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, this is about the fourth conversion, hexadecimal to binary. So, next is octal to hexadecimal. So, direct conversion is not possible here. So, octal to hexadecimal is not possible directly. So, what we are going to do is first writing octal to binary and then binary to hexa. Because octal is 8, hexa is 16. We can't convert it directly. So, first we are converting it into binary and then binary to hexa. Means we are merging both the uh, previous conversions. So, convert the given to its hexa. So, how to convert? If given is octal, octal means first we are doing octal to binary conversion. So, what is the relation of octal and binary? It is the number of bits is 3. 
So octal is given. So we have to write equivalent three bit binary number for each octal digit. So we'll get the number like this, binary numbers like this. We are writing three bit binary number for each octal digit. And next, binary octal to binary conversion is done. And next, binary to hexadecimal. Binary to hexadecimal. So, what is the relation between binary and hexadecimal? Which is the number of bits is 4. The number of bits is 4. So, binary to hexadecimal conversion is making a group of 4 bits. Making a group of 4 bits. So, this is the first group and this is the second group. And to make the third group here, there is a need of 3 bits. Here, 0101 is the first group. 0, 1 is there and 2 zeros to be added. 2 zeros to be added. So, we'll get this. We'll get this. And next is what? Next is we have to write the corresponding hexadecimal number for each group of 4 bits. So, 18D.54 is the answer. So, given is 615.25 base 8, we converted that to binary and then grouping of 4 bits, we are getting the hexadecimal answer. And hexa to octal, the same, direct conversion is not possible. So, first we have to convert the hexa to binary. We are converting hexa to binary and then binary to octal. So, how to convert the given hexa to binary? Some characters and numbers will be given. So, we have to write 4 bit binary for each hexa digit. So, we will get binary answer. And in that binary answer, to get the octal, we are grouping of 3 bits. We are grouping of 3 bits starting from LSB for integer part and MSB for fractional part by adding zeros if required. And next, we are writing equivalent octal number for each octal, sorry, each group of 3 bits. Finally, where binary to octal, the relation between binary to octal is the number of bits is 3. Octal to binary is also the number of bits is 3. Binary to hexadecimal, number of bits is 4. Hexa to binary also, the number of bits is 4. Octal to hexadecimal, hexadecimal to octal. Direct conversion is not possible. So, first we are converting the given to binary and binary to either octal or a hexadecimal.